Exactly. <laughs> Hi Sarah. Hi. How you doing? Hello. Oh well, I love the movie. Let me talk to. Uh, Thank you. Let me ask Sarah first here. Uh, your lipsticks, your wardrobes. You know they they glow because of the film yes. full of lights and energy. Can you talk about the experience of uh, wearing those? It was really it was really great. Um, uh, one of my favorite parts about Crystal is uh, the way that she dresses. I think it's very special. It's unique. It's different from everybody else that is in XOXO. She kind of beats her own drum. <laughs> she dances to the beat of her own drum with her wardrobe. And um, so I think it's really great. I mean, this 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 costume that they put together, they, they made it, they use like Marc Jacobs fabric and, and created this costume from scratch. And there's like colored clip-ins and crazy lipsticks and eyeshadows. And it was, it was a lot of fun. It, it, I very much felt like a character uh, like Crystal and, and in that world of XOXO. You rocked it, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Graham, uh, DJ, was it the shadow DJ prepared for the role? I mean, do you have experiences yourself? With, with um, so I actually do have experience at DJing. Um, I, I started DJing less as a, a passion for uh, the art of DJing and more actually as a way for me to get in with the social chairs at, at my college as a freshman male. You're kind of at the bottom of the, the social totem pole there. Mm. And, and then I just grew to really love it. And, um, you know, my friends and I had already been into EDM, uh, you know, as a genre. And so when I got this role and I was talking to Chris about it, he didn't even know that I DJed when I basically, by, by the time I got the role, he's like, so we need to teach you how to DJ. I was like, oh, I, I, I actually know how to DJ. <laughs> and most of the equipment that we used on the shoot was actually my own that I just brought in. So um, that was one thing that I didn't have to learn for this. That was Ooh, good. You were very convincing. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, for both of you, uh, one of the themes in this film, uh, in regards to Tariq's dad and Chris Delia's character, you know, maybe they were dis disenfranchised about you know young people trying to pursue their American dream and passion. They're like, well, what are you gonna do? You can't pay the bills with that. You know, what do you want to live or go to festival for? You're wasting your time. You should go for the next shift at work. <laughs> uh, have, have anybody said that to you? And what is what is what was your response to them? Um, I, I come from a very, very supportive, my dad's an actor, mm -hmm. and my mom um, used to be an actress, so I come from a very big theater actor family, so it was all very, actually my parents didn't want me to act because they knew the trials and tribulations that came with it, and they didn't want a four-year-old to have to go through that, um, no four-year-old should have to go through that, <laughs> no, honestly, no four-year-old four -year should be rejected from jobs left and right, but I wanted to, and I kind of forced them, and I was like, no, I don't care if I get no... Um, but uh, I, so I guess that, but then my parents, when, once they realized that I really was serious about it, they were very loving and supportive. I don't know, there's always going to be people. What about you? Well, a high school teacher of mine actually said, he was like, well, you know, Sarah's not go once she, she's in her awkward phase right now, so she's not going to be booking anything anytime soon, so she can't audition for the school musical. And I was like, well, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Um, so both my parents are lawyers. Uh, my dad was a, a federal judge, um, but they were still very, very supportive. And I don't know, like something about these baby boomers, like they did the whole stability thing, mm -hmm. and they're kind of like, go oh, follow your dreams, like you know, take our stability and and you know, waste it on on something creative, <laughs> or, or you know. Um, so so no, I think we both had a lot of support. Although my the only B I got last semester was acting in musical theater. So. <laughs> You know, yeah. maybe I should reconsider. <laughs> last, last one question. What event would you be willing to go through the sewage to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, um, I think the event is in the sewer. Yeah, we were just talking about this. We think, nah, The we sewer is where that. it's at. No, we have to go to something <laughs> we else. We to come up with a better answer than that. Than the sewer. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, like Disneyland. There's got to be some place that you can't get into. You know? But that's that you the thing, would, like you, that you can't, can't get like, into. Some what kind can't of like you get archaeological into? ruin that like you wouldn't be able to get yeah, into? Yeah, the, uh, the, the Coliseum. Yeah, but it's so broken. You can just walk in. These, you don't need to go through the sewer. And in Roman times, like everything was the sewer. It's, all right, we don't have a good answer. We'll get back we to We don't you. have a good answer. We need to come up with one of these answers. This is the second time we've been asked that question, and Ooh. our answer was in the sewer. Well, thank you so much for your time, okay? Thank you. Exactly. Man.
managed to book you a slot. At the biggest rave in America. I'm sorry, can you say that again? He just announced the last minute ads. You're never gonna guess who it is. Oh, no. You're not wearing that. You look like a nun. Okay. All right, party people! This is it, babe. Last night. I can't believe I'm going XOXO. It's like I'm making up for something I did in the past life. Coming in? Is there Wi Fi on the bus? Dude, kill yourself. I'm the king of this kingdom. This is amazing. Man, your whole life is going to change. I tell these people what to like. I've seen more DJs than you can count come and go. It is a tough business. The sooner you realize that, the easier it's going to be for you. This music means everything to me. I'm in this because I love it. You like this is real music. It's not meant to be the soundtrack to getting wasted or the background of a car commercial. It when you make that connection with somebody, it gets you outside yourself. I always felt like this nothing kid. When I was out there in the middle of this massive crowd, I felt like you were part of something way bigger. Yeah. There's a huge party going on. Get out there, man. It's a big adventure. We're in this together. Trust me. You are going to play an amazing set, and I am going to be there. This is your moment. You got to grab it.